Howdy doody everyone, it's Emmy. It is August 1st, 2018, and it's been a couple days since I went into my hives. Hive number one, two, and three I went into a couple days ago, did a quick mite check, saw that I had numbers in which I needed a treat. It was about 11 for the big one. Actually, it's not the big one, number one. 11 for number one, uh, six for number two, and my nuke had seven, so I definitely need to treat. And uh, the reason why I went in a couple days is I'm going to be treating with oxalic acid dribble and that it does not work in terms of getting underneath the cap. So uh, the cappings are where the mites like to stay. They like to feast on the developing bee and that's where they hide. So when you want to do dribble um, or oxalic acid in general, you have to do it when the hive, or generally you do it when the hive is broodless. So there are no babies or developing bees and that way you know you are getting as many mites as possible. The way oxalic acid works is it gets the phoretic mites, the mites that are actually attached to the bees themselves. If they're developing inside of the cell, it won't reach them. So that's why it's important to use oxalic acid at the right time and to use other treatments for different times. So for hive number one, number two, I've been treating them with Max or Mitoway Quick Strips, which is formic acid. They're in the middle of treatment right now, and in one week's time, I'll go back in there and remove the formic acid and make sure the queen is happy and that uh, the hive is all right. So here we are. This is the nuke. That top box has a feeder in it, and there are about four frames of bees and some foundation frames that I am encouraging the bees to draw out by feeding them. I've made a solution here of oxalic acid, acid 3% in a one-to-one -one syrup. If you want to see how to make that, I'll put a link down below in the description on how to make that. And I'm going to also top them off with some syrup. Alright, let's go ahead and get in there. This, by the way, is my Better Bee 10 frame hive. I like, it's very, very pretty. One thing I don't like right now is that this top cover does not fit on hive bodies from a different kit. It's slightly, looks like these hive bodies are slightly narrower, so the top doesn't fit that well, which is a bit of an annoyance. And another thing I don't like is that the, the handles of these are not as deep as some others, which I don't like as much as well either. But I'll, besides that, it's a very handsome looking hive. All right, let's go in there. Okay, so I need to feed the feeder. I need to fill the feeder. This off. So before I add the oxalic acid, I'm gonna just check quickly for the queen. So because this is a nuke, and this is not a full-size hive, I'm only going to do 12 milliliters of oxalic acid, which is basically um, a third of the recommended dosage. For a regular size hive, you would do 50 mLs. So, pretty quiet here, and pretty calm. Are they drawing out any comb? So I just want to quickly see if I can find a queen at all, and the state of those other supersedure cells. Move very slowly. When I did my test, this hive had seven mites, which is definitely within the treatable range. Usually if you have three per sample, that means it's time to treat. So, I don't see any eggs as of yet. I did see a virgin in here two days ago. I'm just wondering if she's mated. So I don't see any eggs yet. Let's see if I can spot a queen. I'm going to take this into the sun and see if I can spot some eggs. So I don't spot any eggs on that frame. I did not see a queen. Let's 
some good sun here. Okay, so I didn't spot the queen this time. I didn't look that carefully. Uh, I did see a virgin queen or a queen uh, two days ago, so I'm just gonna button this up and just leave you be and go ahead and just treat. It is a pretty windy day. We're looking at thunderstorms, so I just wanna kinda just get things going. As far as what I'm doing is I'm going to be treating the seam. So in between each seam I'm going to be dribbling the oxalic acid. I have four syringes. I have three syringes with four mLs of the oxalic acid solution in there. So a total of 12 mLs. I'm only treating this as a third of a dose because uh, this is just a small hive. Sorry about the wind noise. So I'm going to do uh, going to button this back up. Place the feeder. We've already noticed that the plethora flow is beginning, but again I'm one encouraging these bees to rock home, so I'm giving them more syrup. All those brown things you see at the bottom are ants. They like syrup too. Oh, a couple bees. Let's get them out of there. Alrighty. Okay, so that's that. So now all three hives have been treated. I will come back in about a week's time and check them, actually in more like five days, and check the two formic acid hives see how they're doing, remove the Midaway quick strip and make sure they're clean right, hopefully everything's okay. And then I will also check out um, the nuke as well and I will look at the bottom boards to see what the mite fallout looks like. Meaning all the mites that died drop to the bottom and see, give us an idea of how badly the hive was infested. Alright, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye!